we are back. It is Oki and I. Oki is asleep on the job yet once again. Um, so it's been a while since we have done any work on our bus. To be completely honest, it's just been a mix of working really hard on our businesses, new parent stuff, family stuff, and just life. So we're super excited to be back and like we've got our vision and we just know what we're doing. We know our process and what needs to happen now um, in order for us to get on the road and start traveling. So, and you know, and living our dream life because you know, we love our life here on the Sunshine Coast. It is, it is great, but we have had this dream for so long and you know, it was so nice at the beginning of the year, we were driving home from the beach and we said like, what were the most, the things that we were most excited yeah, about? We both said like going traveling and this is the year that we are actually doing it. This has been a dream of ours for so long and to know that we're actually going and doing it this year is so exciting. Like we've had a massive last two years of working really, really hard to build up our online businesses so that when we are traveling on the road, we can work them and we're not, you know, sitting in front of our laptops all day, every day and and whatnot so we're super excited so today what we're doing is um, my little brother is going to be doing some welding so we found some rust um, when we were pulling out all the old ply from the floor so um, he's going to be welding those little pieces I don't really know much about it or I might get him or Ty to explain that but um, I know that he's taking that out so that it's just all nice and fresh and clean for us to put down a new floor so once that's done, uh, Ty and I will head to a place called The Bunker. Um, it's just in a little town nearby where we live and we will grab uh, the plywood for the floor. I'll drop like in below, you know, the pricing and what plywood we went for and everything just so that you've got a guide if that's what you're here for and what you're looking for. Um, and yeah, we'll take you guys along on that journey with us as well. But for now, I will show you a little bit of the bus and what the boys are gonna be doing today. Risen and um, that stuff that you just saw my little brother spraying on, uh, that is rust convert. Glasses that my brother has just given to Ty to wear. Okay, so I didn't end up going to the shop to get the wood, uh, the ply, sorry, for the floor because it's just mum life and it's much easier. So Ty went by himself, um, did a couple of trips backwards and forwards because we had to borrow a car and whatnot. Um, so he's got the ply here now. He's going to talk you through um, what he's doing and like scribing it because I didn't know what scribing was, so I'm sure there's other people on here that don't know what scribing is. So he's going to talk you through scribing, and then yeah, we'll show you a little bit of um, you know putting the floor in and getting that done. Um, so cutting some ply for the bus because we pulled all the old ply out because it was deteriorating and was wrecked. So we didn't keep the old pieces, so we're going to have a bit of a harder job putting it back in because we've got to do a fair bit of scribing. So I've just gone, you know, I haven't even put any bits in yet. So I winged this first bit just to cut a little bit off because the back of the bus has a curved edge on it where the plier would actually go in. So I've just put a rounded edge on them now so I can fit them in and then I'll scribe them closer. So it's nice and neat afterwards, but yeah, that's where we're at. And what does scribing mean for the people that don't know? Because I didn't know what scribing meant. Okay, so scribing is making the edge to suit whatever the wall is or whatever on the bus, but because this is flooring, like the steel frame in the bus, we put it has a curved edge on it. So when you can scribe it with a pencil by having a little tool um, that, that just runs along the edge and you just go from the widest point and then wrap it around and then you get the perfect edge to whatever the wall or the frame is on the bus.
Okay.